All right, um, this is Karen Robinson again. I made another video, um, instructional video, and it turned out to be somewhat uh, vertigo inducing. <laughs> I got motion sick watching it myself. So this one's going to be mostly a, uh, a session. I'm going to play through two different versions of, of how I played this game. Um, I talked about some other possibilities when I did the other video. But this time I have a tripod. I'm um, It's on my card table and I'm, it's upside down, so I'm going to try and do this upside down, which is okay. Just a uh, quick show you what things, <coughs> what I've got. Um, there are three different sets of the Weesey cards and I've got them all mixed up here um, because I don't have room on my shelf for them. They're not packaged very efficiently. Um, the first set, the basic set was this one and this one oops, has this kind of a back and it involves photographs of things from city life. There's a guy with a crosswalk I can't see what the camera is seeing, so I have no idea if anything's in focus. Um, and a lot of them are kind of close-ups, like here's a plastic bag, I think. And uh, one of the games that they suggest uh, in the booklet is to take a picture like that and then think of what other things it could be besides plastic bags. Like maybe it could be a kind of flower or a jellyfish or something like that. So uh, that's that deck. And there are 200 plus cards in each deck. And then they came out with a nature deck, which has these QR codes on the back. And they have pictures of flowers and animals and uh, close-ups. There's a piece of a bug. <laughs> and um, one of the things they suggest is to take several of the animal parts and put them together to make some weird animal. I did that in my other video. I don't think I'll do it here. That's not something I usually do. They also suggest in all these, one thing you could do is you could take one of these pictures and then put it on a piece of paper and then draw something that uses that as part of the picture. So there's the nature cards. And then they came out these with these cards from the Getty Museum, the Art, Art Museum. And they are, again, often close-ups. You have to look in the back and see what the actual item is. And then the QR code you can look up and see more about what it is. So there might just be one little detail here and then you look on the back, oh it's a part of a woman's dress. And I don't know if the camera's focusing on any of this. Anyway, um, I generally shuffle all these together. Um, what I'm going to do when I uh, play these games, since I have them sorted, is I'm going to kind of draw from the different piles. Okay, so the first game I want to show you was suggested by Maricel Edwards on Board Game Geek. And um, she was trying to come up with something that would play like an actual game. And uh, it turned out to be fairly similar to something I had been doing. So we discussed together a little bit. But her idea is you take four cards lay them out and then sort of a general principle with the we see cards is you're trying to come up with some kind of logical connection between the cards things that are the same color or the same shape or the same theme and put them next to each other and whether they go next to each other or not depends on your judgment. <laughs> so in this game it's up to you to decide how well do these go together. Um, and uh, in her version of the game you play one card and then you discard the one that's farthest away from the draw deck. I prefer to play one card and discard one of my choice just because that gives me a little more flexibility. Although with hers um, her rule of discarding the one that's farthest away from the draw deck gives you uh, more restrictions, which may make it more game-like. I don't know. Anyway, I'm kind of focusing on these two looking somewhat similar. So I'm going to play this one and maybe discard this one. And then refill 
before. And now I'm thinking these two look kind of similar. So we'll put those next to each other. And which one shall I discard? Uh, I'm going to discard these uh, popsicle sticks. And refill the line of four. Okay, and then um, what we're going to aim for, she uses a three by six grid. That's probably good for this session. Um, sometimes when I'm playing, especially my second game, I will make a bigger grid and kind of fill my table. But let's go with three by six. So now I need to find something that sort of matches one of these um, some way or another. Well, this pretzel looks a little bit like this one, I suppose. See, they're so kind of the same kind of color. Not much the same kind of shape, but that's all right. And then I will discard one. Um, <laughs> this is really creepy. I don't know. I think it's a spider with an egg sac, but it's pretty. Um, so now I'm going to discard something. I kind of like those frogs, so I want to keep those. Um, I'm going to discard this one and refill two more. All right, and notice that I don't have them necessarily right side up or upside down or anything because you're supposed to be looking at them more as uh, abstract shapes even though they're photographs, maybe, I don't know. I'm trying to work myself up to that frog. <laughs> I don't know if I can. Well, I'm going to put the spider down, even though it's giving me the creeps. Um, could kind of fit there. Those eyes sort of look like the holes in the pretzel. And I'm going to discard the keys. And I'll put down two more. All right. Um, oh, let's see. Anything that looks like it would fit. Well, this could possibly fit here. Here. Looks a little bit like that one. I'm going to slide these up this way so I have some room. I hope I'm still in the camera range. And I'll put this one here. Those noses look a bit like that pointy thing. And I need to discard something. I'm going to discard the lumber and get two more. Okay, well, I really like that one. And that looks an awful like, like this color. So maybe I could justify putting it next to that one. Like that. Um, I guess I'm gonna discard this one. Deal two more. Okay, now this thing kind of matches these two. So I think I'll put it next to, which one? This one, maybe. Now at this point, I'm not sure how well that matches this one. So I may... If you find, if you have one that you've placed and you think, well, it matches, it looks a lot like all of these, you want it to kind of match everything around it. This one doesn't seem to fit it very well, so I'm going to flip it over. The ones that you've flipped over, you can treat them like wild cards in my version, but um, they're going to count against you when it comes to final scoring. And I'm going to get rid of whatever the heck this is. It looks like a dog's toenail or something. I don't know what that is. All right, let's deal out a couple more cards. Um, okay, I finally got something that seems to fit kind of here. It's got similar colors to that and similar textures to that. This one is actually part of a bowl from the art museum. But it reminds me of a space picture like Saturn or something, so that's a cool picture. I'm going to get rid of the bat and deal two more. All right. Oh, I 
getting some pink colors. I don't have room for pink yet. Um, well, I tell you what, this could kind of fit over here. Those spiky things kind of match that. And uh, I need to get rid of something. I think I'll get rid of this one. This is paint on a wall. I think that's peeling. I'm not sure what it is. All right. And then I had my eye on this thing, which kind of matches that and that. They, they look kind of similar. And I want to get rid of some. I've got two spiders there. I'm kind of phobic about spiders, although I'm getting better as I get older. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this spider right here. And we'll deal out two more. Yeah, let's see. What could I put down? Well, this spider actually is kind of fits here. It's spiky like that thing. And uh, I'm going to get rid of this one. And deal out two more. I think I'm going to go with three by five just to keep this from taking forever. Um, oh, what do I like next? Um, well. This one sort of has a, a pointy end and some colors that look similar to these and a little bit of yellowish kind of thing, so maybe it could fit there. Uh, I think I'm going to get rid of this one and deal out two more. Oh yeah, that tortoise. Um, okay, I'm going to keep the tortoise. I think it could go here matches a lot of the oh we're supposed to be I should make this look more right side up for you <laughs> okay um, this tortoise has a lot of these same kind of color schemes I don't know that it matches that well with the spider I'm going to turn over the spider because I don't like it anyway and I need to discard something I'm going to discard the bike rack and deal out a couple more Okay, um, well, let's see. This one I think could fit here. It has the pointy thing like that. It has some green and red colors like that. This pointy thing kind of matches the nose there and that pointy thing, so that, that fits pretty good. And I think I will get rid of this. And I'll deal out two more, and this will be my last card on this game. But then I'm going to do something else. Um, oh, gosh, I'm not seeing anything that looks very good. <laughs> this card has to go in this corner. None of those look particularly fabulous. Um, I'm not sure I can justify much of anything here. So, this is where I'm going to lose some of my scoring. I think I will put down, yeah, just pick one. This one's pretty. This doesn't really, well, it kind of matches this because it has these straight lines and these straight lines here, so I, I might go with that, but it doesn't match this one. I don't think it really matches that one either. Okay, so now I'm finished with this game. And I've got four face down cards. And so my um, face up cards, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, so my score here, beat your own score, my score would be eleven. Okay. And of course, you've got to be honest with yourself. <laughs> Do those match or don't they? Can you justify whether they match or not? Um, there's a game they play in the book, in the rule book, where you kind of lay them out like domino cards. So, you know, you, you can put things at the end, you can put things at a cross, 
and sometimes they end up looking kind of like this or they could just be in like dominoes and for something like that um, you can play with other people and you can give justification for why your card is okay <laughs> so that was that version of the game what I'm going to do now is I'm going to keep it this size although again I usually make it much larger I'm going to turn these back over and pretend that I've gotten this far and in this version of the game you do your best to get things to fit but they they may not they may not fit perfectly and when you're putting a card down you can put it um, well, I'll tell you what, let's make it a little bit bigger. So for this one, I'm going to go 4 by 6 which is actually a pretty good size for me. Let's pull all this down. And... Okay. Um, if you think something fits, you can put it there. And then just put another one out. So in this version of the game, I'm not, um, it's not as gamey. <laughs> so I'm not discarding anything. I'm just starting with some things. And I often start with even more than that. And now I'm thinking, oh, that tomato kind of matches colors with that frog. This, this version of the game that I'm playing here, I call this the never-ending collage because you'll see why. <laughs> um, let's see. Well, this kind of goes here. I've got things that are spiky and circly, and the colors kind of match, so that could go there. And then um, the tree. Sometimes I just go with colors. I'm, I'm like doing the best I can. And uh, there's a nice red one. Maybe that could go over here. And then what might happen somewhere along the line is you might find one that uh, you think is better than one that was there before. Like, I don't really like this pup cape. I'm just going to put this on top of it. Matches this color better. Doesn't necessarily match this very well, but... Like I say, this is like doing an art project. There's no rules to this game. You're just trying to make it um, fit the best you can and make a pleasing picture. Um, I don't know. None of those please me very much. But they might get covered up lately, later. <laughs> so maybe I'll put this over here. This has some things converging together and this has some things converging together so maybe that could fit there and um, okay I'm gonna put that one there it matches some colors here we'll see if I get a better one later this one sort of the colors seem to fit there um, oh, I kind of like this one here that doesn't match that very well, so I may cover that up later if I find something I like better. Okay, have I got four by six? Yes. So from here on, I'm not adding anything to the overall layout. I'm putting things in the middle. Like this umbrella really fits here with this stuff better than it, the one that was already there. Doesn't fit here very well, but... Oh, but the crab, the crab could go here. That. And oh, the tennis rackets. I'm not crazy about those. Um, I'm not crazy about any of those. <laughs> well, maybe I'll put the tennis rackets on top of that spider. Cover him up. Still matches some colors here, and I've got circles. Um, okay, what else? This kind of fits right there. I could cover up that spider. <laughs> um, not a real. 
real fan of any of those. I might put this down here just because the color palette works better with that. It doesn't work real great with that. Anyway, you get the idea. This is like you're doing an art project, a very meditative art project. You don't have to have a good explanation of why something fits someplace. It just looks like that's where I want to put that one. Maybe I'll put this one here, you know? Um, it's very right-brained. I tend to be really analytic, uh, mathematical, and just turning that off and being really right-brained is sometimes a really satisfying exercise. You know, I like this one better here. Okay, so maybe that gives you an idea of how I play this game. And I just keep going till I've had enough and put it away, or until I'm ready to start a new one. Um, so it's more like an activity than a game. All right, I hope that is less uh, nausea-inducing. <laughs> we'll turn this off.